the classroom uh, discuss that. So here regarding uh, in the previous whole class we have spent for this chapter where we discussed about some basic things and we practice such a uh, IPAC nomenclature and uh, yeah. so we have to just uh, look at these isomerisms. Okay. Isomerisms though you can write uh, all the uh, aldehydes, ketone and uh, Carboxylic acid chain isomerism because whenever carbon chain is differing with branch without branch, it will undergo it will be belonging to a chain isomerism. I am just uh, referring only that the important isomerism shown by these uh, compounds. Uh, first one is uh, ketone. Okay, so in ketone, apart from that uh, chain isomerism, what will be there? It will show metamerism. Okay, so metamerism, all of you know that I just show the carbon branch alone. See, this is uh, one ketone uh, and another one is the carbon chain the same. So, here this is the thing. See that there are uh, two carbon this side and two carbon this side when compared to the, either the ketone position. And here only one and here it is three. So, here two plus two both the side, here one plus three both are so the isomerism formula will be same, molecular formula will be same. Okay, so here metabolism will be shown. And uh, aldehydes and the ketones together and another one is it will show uh, functional isomerism. Functional isomerism. What is that the functional isomerism? The functional group will be different. So here just to note down aldehydes and the ketones. Aldehydes and ketones will undergo functional isomerism. So just you write one formula CH3, CH2, CH1. Okay, and now you see that the CH3, C double bond O to CH3. So C3, H6, O, here also C3, H6, O. So that the aldehyde in this functional group is aldehyde, here the functional group is ketone. Okay. So the functional isomerisms will also be shown by uh, ketone it is applicable for aldehydes right and now the next is uh, regarding uh, carboxylic acid we come to this carboxylic acid that is uh, c i used to write r c o o h okay so here they will have a chain isomerism if this uh, carbon chain alkyl group chain is having brand without brand it will come under a chain isomerism. Apart from that, it will show that uh, again functional isomerism. Functional isomerism. Right. Now next one is uh, means with whom that is with ester. With the ester, they will have functional isomerism. We take this example CX3, uh, COOH. Can anyone tell me the function number of this? This is example number one. Example number two. But if one example will have minimum two structures because same molecular formula, different structure due to different functional group. Can you tell me the name of the uh, uh, ester? Can anyone tell me the name of the ester which is a functional isomer? Write the name of the or other this should tell me the name of the ester. Okay, so here it is HCOOCH3, right? And this is acetic acid, acetic acid, or you can call it as ethanoic acid in IUPAC system, ethanoic acid. But here it is, uh, what is that? Methyl formate, methyl group and formic acid ester. Okay, so methyl formate and IUPAC name is what? Methyl, methyl. Methanoate. Okay, so these two are the functional group. You see that similarly I can keep on writing the example. But remember that ester versus uh, carboxylic acid will go for because if you do not remember the uh, partners uh, who will show the functional isomerism, it will be difficult to arrive at the conclusion. So you should know that. Okay, and ether and alcohol. They also have only one oxygen atom, ether and alcohol. But any ether, if you try with uh, uh, ketone, any 
future, if you are if you are not trying with uh, aldehyde, you will not get that uh, correct statement. Okay, so you should know the partners between whom this uh, isomerism ex uh, functional isomerism exists. Okay, now here only the one way of asking question is uh, write the write the same thing in coordination compound. I didn't tell you this, but uh, anyway, during revision time I will cover up that. Write the IUPAC name of the functional isomer of propionic acid. Okay, see that this is what they are asking question. Here they have not asked propionic acid, we can easily write propionic acid. It is not the IUPAC name of propionic acid, IUPAC, IUPAC name of functional isomer of propionic acid. So here you should know what is a propionic acid, you know, three carbon acid, CH3, CH2, COO8. This is propionic acid, common name. Propionic acid is an IUPAC name. Now what is the functional isomer? And functional isomer is CH3, COO, CH3. This is the functional isomer. These are the carbon three. Oxygen uh, 2, hydrogen 6. See, they are also same thing. So, molecular formula is C3H6O2 for both of them. Functional isomer. And now you write the name, what is that? This is ethanoic acid. The acid group only you have to understand. So, it is ethanoic acid and methyl is there. No? So, here methyl ethanoate. So, if you write methyl ethanoate, then only get one mark. This is methyl. Right? Okay, so this is, that is the reason just I gave you this uh, uh, related to isomerism. And uh, now I am coming to the structure. Okay. Well, all basic things you learn that chemical reaction, you know, what you have to study, right? And that is name reactions you have to buy heart and some important uh, reagents. I told you to make a list separately. And you know, I will be explaining one by one, and then if you have written separately, right? Otherwise, I will study from a textbook, but for reasoning questions, so that we will discuss separately. Now, during class, also I will discuss, but in addition to that, separate we will discuss discussion with lab. Now, uh, next to that, the uh, structure, okay, because the structure, if you understand, then only we will be able to go for uh, chemical properties, okay. Now, regarding this aldehyde, what happened? This is R C double bond O here, right? Here. Okay, so now due to the electronegativity difference, there will be always a positive charge here, there is a negative charge. And you can write the resonating structure. What is this? R, C, O, H. And here completely this is actually, if you want to say that this electron has come here. Right? So now this is a positive charge, completely negative charge. This is a resonating structure. And the resonance hybrid will be, the resonance hybrid will be, R, C, H, O, and you have to write like this. Okay, so here it is delta plus delta minus or plus minus. So this is the resonance one. Means not here the, the, this carbonyl group plus double bond only is by one. And here one of the things, this carbon atom is, it is applicable for ketone also, but the only difference is in ketone. Uh, both the valencies will be alkyl group. Okay, carbonyl this is this is called the carbonyl group. This is called the carbonyl group. Carbonyl group. C double bond group, carbonyl group. Therefore, ketone and uh, aldehyde, both of them are called carbonyl compound. And you may have the classification itself, I have covered that. And uh, you may have a question, sir. Carboxylic acid also is a very important question. Carboxylic acid also having carbon double bond uh, oxygen, but the carboxylic acid is not uh, considered as a carbonyl compound. There is a special reason we'll discuss when we start the chemical properties of carboxylic acid, right? Okay, so here both aldehydes and ketones, see this is one uh, alkyl group, but here there is a hydrogen. And that is the difference between these two. They will definitely affect the chemical properties that we will discuss when we go to the chemical properties. Right? In this carbonyl group, this have a polarity. This is only the reason, and first of all, that what is that carbonyl group carbon in both the cases it is sp2. So once it is sp2, you know that it is a triangular planar shape. 
Okay, the angle will be approximately equal to 120 degrees. And why approximately? Because uh, all the three valencies are not same. See, here one multi-group R, here one H, or sometimes ketone means it is again R, here one double bond O. So definitely exactly 120 we cannot uh, expect. It may be very close to uh, that 120 degree. Okay, so this is the uh, bond, uh, this is about the structure. SP2 hybridized to carbon. Then, then why polar? Why that carbon oxygen bond is polar? Okay, so that you know that electronegativity difference. Electronegativity difference between between carbon and oxygen. You know, oxygen is the second highest electronegative. Carbon is very low, one of the lowest non metallic side, one of the lowest electronegativity side. Okay, so that means uh, when two atoms having a lot of difference in electronegativity, the bond will be highly polar. Okay, so once the bond is highly polar, then what will happen that you see that the carbon double bond O, the bond is highly polar, therefore there is a polarization delta plus delta minus ion. Okay, and uh, that is that will be only leading to the important characteristic chemical uh, reaction. Now, uh, these are the things that uh, let us uh, come to this now uh, preparation and uh, properties only one. But the practice was uh, high impact nomenclature I have uh, given for practice. And one more uh, term I want to explain here is the electrophilic center. Or if you say nucleophilic. Nucleophilic center. Okay, or here what we will call it as electrophilicity. Okay, this, this word, because when you read the textbook, these words may be there, you should know that. Okay, so this know what is the meaning of this. So for that, I take this uh, carbon oxygen bond. Okay, so here this is carbon oxygen, carbon oxygen. Now you know that there is a delta plus developed due to low electronegativity, delta minus, right? And now this this is this is delta plus, delta positive charge. Okay, this is electron density less. Electron density is less. Here electron density is more. So that, is a, that is a polarization. You know that one of the way of writing carbon, oxygen, aluminum. So how will you write? We used to write that. This is one way of representing the polarity. This is also one way of representing the polarity. Okay, and another one the way of representing the polarity is what that is. We can make a bond is polar. This is also one way of representing the polarity. Okay, so this is electron density, see high electron density, low electron density, that this diagram shows about the size square of those electron involved in that bond, that pi bond, two electron. That will be always, and other other this, uh, this bond also, bonded pair of electron will be always pulled by more electronegative oxygen atom. Right, okay, so now here due to this, this is then, and now what we call it as this, this is electron density less now, so it will have an affinity affinity for what is that? Tell me. It will be having affinity plus means what? It will be having affinity for nucleophile. Your yeah, nucleophile only can attack. Nucleophile will be attacking here. Okay, so that means this is this center is called the nucleophilic center where the nucleophile can attack. This is called the nucleophilic uh, means uh, sorry this, this uh, sorry this carbon is having a positive charge and it is having nucleophilicity. Nucleophilicity, that means that it has the attraction towards the nucleophile. And in this, this position, it will be called as nucleophilic center. Nucleophilic. And similarly, here it will have a electrophile will be, a, electrophile will be attracted. I mean, mostly it will be H plus or some other electrophile. In many of the reactions, it will be H plus because that acid medium will be provided. So, A, E plus electrophile will attack here. Okay, so this center is called what? Electrophilic center. 
retrofit that oxygen having that quality na that property of uh, being attacked by e plus that is called the electrophilicity okay so all of you must be thorough in what is the electrophilicity what is the electrophilic center what is nucleophilicity and what is nucleophilic center okay and another one information about this carbon carbon double bond is that is here this carbon will have a unhydrolyzed p orbital so this is sp Two carbon, so one one p orbital is unhydrated p orbital will have an electron, and here oxygen also will have a p orbital, and this electron. So this this will have a this will have a pi bond. Okay, so what what is the thing here? C double bond is means single bond alone I am writing, and this uh, after the pi bond as per this uh, orbital shape, you will be writing like this. Is both together? It is a it is a pi bond. Okay, both together, and this is the psi square of that electron. Psi square of the two electrons involved in that that pi bond. Pi bond cloud will be above and below the plane. Okay, I told you this is a plane. This is the plane, and this is that is a this is carbon. Carbon. This is the plane, and that this will be perpendicular to the plane. This orbital. And that orbital only will have this attraction. That means this this cloud will be above and below the plane. Above and below the plane. Understand that. Above and below the plane, they will be present. Right? This is one thing you have to understand. Right. Now let us come to this uh, preparation. Okay, if you are having the textbook, just uh, keep that uh, with you so that we can see. Master. So preparation of aldehydes and ketones. First, we'll discuss about aldehyde ketone both, and then separate any individual processes of that we'll discuss. And then when you look at this book, that uh, I'm just listing. Anyway, I will just to have a glance on that. Even though even in the textbook itself, it is given only that uh, refer to unit number so and so in class 11. Refer to unit number so and so in class 12 because in class 12 organic chemistry chapter is the third uh, chapter. So in the early uh, in the halo alkene chapter and mainly alcohol chapter, alcohol chapter only oxygen is present. So many of the reactions we have discussed that in the properties of alcohol. Here it will come as a Preparation and in the alcohol chapter, preparation involves reaction. Here it will come as a properties. That is the thing. Remember that. Okay. So here the first one reaction is by oxidation of alcohol. Okay. So by oxidation of alcohol. So now how will you oxidize it? That I told you that you refer to that earlier uh, chapter. Alcohol properties. I have told you that uh, CH two O H. So CH two O H means this is primary alcohol, and the CH O H. This is both in the dash and the unit that is carbon chain. Okay, so this is secondary alcohol. Similarly, we refer to tertiary alcohol. That variety of bond will break a different mixture of product will get, and this one will be oxidized to give what is that? That is CH O. Same number of same number of carbon atom which is present in the alcohol. Same number of carbon atom. And what about here? Here also oxidation. What is that? C C C. But this will be converted into O. Okay, because the oxidation means what? Removal of hydrogen also oxidation. It is also called dehydro hydrogenation. Here on hydrogen, here on hydrogen goes. Here on hydrogen, here on hydrogen goes. Okay, so this is oxidation, but what is, this is also same number of carbon. Same number of carbon. <coughs> Then this will come. The same reaction will come in the preparation of carboxylic acid also. That now I don't want to confuse here. Now again, one more step. If you uh, oxidize, it will give carboxylic acid. This also will carboxylic acid. That time. The number of carbon atom will differ. Okay, so this will give same number as COOH with the same number of carbon atom. This will give COOH with the less number of carbon atom because that that I will cover up in the properties. Okay, don't worry. So now you take this only this. Uh, 
so now this is the uh, one preparation. Here reagent. What is the reagent? Because see, whenever you uh, carry out the oxidation of alcohols, whether it is primary, secondary, or tertiary, I just took you that on. Now it will be directly becoming COOH. It will not become CO2 plus H2O. That is that is burning combustion. Any, any organic compound, whether it is aldehyde, ketone, alcohol, and uh, hydrocarbon, anything you take that you want to burn it, you can use a burner, means it will become carbon dioxide and H2. That is called composition with a burning. And if it is giving a lot of energy, heat energy, then we call that as a fuel. That is why many of the hydrocarbons, including ethanol, is used as a fuel. But otherwise, all the organic compounds, when even sugar you take, Sugar and all that, if you heat that water, it will be decomposing completely. But in the case of sugar, some dehydration will take place. That also when you use dehydrating agent. Otherwise, all of them will be converted into CO2 plus H2. That is also severe oxidation. We call it as a combustion. In combustion, separately, it will be there. In low class, we have studied. Here, we will not study combustion because I told you, commonly, any organic compound, final step is combustion is CO2 plus H2. So here, otherwise what happens if you use oxidizing agent, what are the oxidizing agent, you know alkaline KMNO4. Alkaline KMNO4, you have studied in deep block of blood elements, so it is used in organic synthesis. Acidified potassium dichromate. Okay, like that many chromate and many, many, these are all called as a strong oxidizing agent. Okay, so when you use a strong oxidizing agent, directly alcohol will be converted into carboxylic acid. So what you are doing in that is actually I am not supposed to repeat again. That the same discussion I explained you in the alcohol chapter in the property study. Okay, so here what happened? You will use a controlled oxidizing agent, PCC, or even that CrO3 can be used. I know. Tritinium chlorochromate and uh, this is a chromic uh, anhydride or chromic oxide, you can say. So, that is, uh, they are all that, even that without affecting the double bond, they will oxidize. Okay, so here you write down that uh, there will be oxidation. And another one way of oxidation is again you refer that in the presence of copper or even you can use silver also. Okay, copper or silver and heat it, heat it around uh, 800 degrees Celsius in temperature, you know, for that, it will be giving primary alcohol, will be that, 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 that time we call it as a dehydrogenation. Why we say dehydrogenation? Because we, here we say oxidation, because oxidizing agent is used. There you are heating with copper, it is coming, that H2 is coming out, right? So we call it as a dehydrogenation process, but that, that also, dehydrogenation is obviously the oxidation reaction. Okay, anyone. So remember PCC, CRO3, because you have to control. Otherwise, you use copper and heat so that all aldehyde will, all, all, uh, carboxylic acid will not pop, ketone and aldehyde they will get. Okay, so this is the first preparation. And the second preparation, if you see, the given dehydrogenation of that I already covered. Okay, now next is from uh, hydrocarbons. Okay, so the hydrocarbon, the first one is. Ozonolysis. This also again the book. If you see, they might have given the first class eleven reading number. So, so okay. So here understand that first of all, I am telling you that when alkene is uh, treated with ozone, yeah, that the two steps you now in all suddenly be easy for you. We found it difficult in class eleven, but now it will be easy for you. So the first is ozone, and what will happen is ozone. I just write here only these two valencies and here carbon, these two old valencies and newly what will happen here that this will form on oxygen, then ozone will be added, ozone will be added. Okay, so then after that if it is treated with what uh, that uh, uh, hydrolysis, okay, so here we will be using zinc, dust and water. Because zinc will be a very good uh, reagent to take out oxygen. Zinc and water, when you are treating with zinc, dust and water with it, so you will get called, uh, what you will get is, this will be one product and another one, this will be another product. But, okay, but before product, I just check up that what is the way of cleavage, this, this will be the cleavage pattern I told you. This bond will cleave and this is. Okay, this is also 
addition product that is called ozonite and this will break like this so that means here this carbon is losing one valency this oxygen is also losing one valency that you see the valency so these two carbon this carbon and the oxygen this carbon and this oxygen and they will make a double bond and similarly here you see this carbon is losing one valency this valency is lost and this oxygen is losing this valency so they will make a bond Okay, so now what is that? What is this? This, this, this ketone or aldehyde? Maybe ketone, maybe aldehyde. That when you fill out this place only, you will come to know whether it is ketone or aldehyde. But that time I told you, if you start this with ethylene, ethylene. Okay, that is now this overall reaction. I am writing this is CH2 double bond CH2. So now overall reaction, how will you write? See, you write plus two one and O3 and 2 you have to write zinc, zinc because this oxygen which is coming out now will be forming zinc oxide, zinc has greater affinity for oxygen. Okay, so that is zinc plus water, that is the second step. So this, this is the way you have to write it single step. And here actually what you do is now directly this first shortcut now, this oxygen will be added. This, this, this double actually overall reaction is is both the bond will break and here one oxygen here one oxygen so ch2o ch2o what is this ch2o that is uh, h c double bond o h the formaldehyde so you will get two moles of formaldehyde okay in ethylene you will get two moles of formaldehyde can anyone tell me what you will get in propylene what you will get in propylene can anyone tell me in propylene what you will get in propylene what you will get Right, right. This is how that you have to just understand because wherever I am explaining more, that is the understanding time. Even in some places, only reaction mean, I'll just uh, tell that what is the reagent, the reactant, the product, and you know. So here that ethylene uh, is giving both the two moles of formaldehyde. And uh, propylene will give one acetaldehyde or one mole formaldehyde. And butyl 2 in butyl 2 in will give you two moles of acetaldehyde. Okay, and two methyl, two methyl butyl two in will give one mole of acetone and one mole of acetaldehyde. Okay, two comma three dimethyl butyl two in, and that will give two moles of. This is only simple alkene I am giving. This is actually a very important uh, question even for even NEET and uh, J exam also. How they will be asking? They will give the product. Okay, suppose I, I, am, I am explaining even the board exam also, they may ask, it is not uh, really beyond that imagination. See, they will give the alkene, I uh, mean, product will be given. So and so, alkene, that is alkene A or alkene X, on ozonolysis, give these products, one mole of this, one mole of this, like that. Okay, so suppose it is giving, means what it do is, suppose this was the given, C, CH3 and CH4. Okay, another another one they have given is uh, CH3, CH, CH3. Let them give any 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 large chain that are not a matter. CH3 and CO or CHO. And this is also, also not a matter. Or otherwise, here I will just to go for uh, just because anyway I am giving that. So you try that uh, difficult one. Let you let you do bigger structure. Right. Okay. So this is uh, C double uh, C double bond O C H C H three C H three. Okay. So they are giving the exact. So don't be afraid of that any big structure. See, like this structure given or the impact name is given. That immediately it should strike. That's what that depth here. That uh, class twelve and E and they they mean all known to you because as per the syllabus they made and all that they have to. Ask to around the 20 percentage question if as per the syllabus compulsory, they have to ask from the book back questions, CBSC, NCRT book back questions, and in, in inbox index questions are there. That should be asked 20 percent, remember that. In addition to that, other questions also, these type of things. Once the big structure is given, do not worry about that. You should know that these are the products of ozonology. And you know ozonology means what you do, you bring the, this one together like this. Is carbonyl group together. Okay, now I am bringing the carbonyl group together, CO, here on H is there, this one, over. And then after that one C, this is completed. And here one CH3, and here one CH3, it over. Now, now here I am writing 
Oh, see, this is over. And the self. See, okay. And then, then one side, CH, CH3, CH3. This is over. And other side also, CH, CH3, CH3. This is also over. Okay, so that's all. Now what you do, what you do the product, you see that it is actually overall in uh, double bond, the double bond in alkene, only breaking and the two oxygen atoms are attached to each other on both sides. So now you make it into double bond. Now this is the alkene. In the answer A, B, C, D, you check up whether they have given uh, IPAC name or common and mostly big structure name, they give the IPAC name. Now you check out, select the longest chain. You ever see that? Both the sides are symmetrical. So go anywhere, not a matter. Any you want to take it. This is the longest. And which side you have to start, you see that. Lowest set of block and roll, no need to go. Because there is a double bond. So one, two, three, down one is getting. Here also one, two, three, down one is getting. Then now you go for the lowest set of block and roll. Right? Then apply the rule and find out. Definitely out of that ABC, the answer, one answer will be given. Okay. So this is how you will uh, find out that. Uh, so I am giving you only that uh, reaction as well as how the questions will be asked. Okay, so the next one is another one is again that also from class 11 only that it is about that uh, uh, alkene, okay, double bond, okay, double bond, and then here the reagent is only that in the presence of mercury ion, two plus, okay, H2SO4. And OHSO4 aqueous, that means uh, water will be there. Here actually water will be added. What will happen here? Double bond C and one side one uh, oxygen uh, OH and one side one hydrogen. Okay, that's all will happen over. So, then this is. Okay. So here what will happen is, uh, not that, that is hydration process. Here out of that uh, three bonds, you see hydrogen or whatever it is, three bonds, one bond will be remaining. Remaining two bonds, now instead of two bond, here one oxygen will be formed. Here two hydrogen will be attached. This is the product. Okay, now you come to that CH, triple bond CH. And now what will be the product? So one side CH3 I am writing because here hydrogen, here oxygen. That means CHO. You get as it is, I think the name is not given in the textbook. It is a vacuous process. Vacuous process. And this don't forget mercury 2 plus. Yeah, name reaction. Mercury 2 plus is a catalyst in this, you know, any any alkyl intake. So you should remember. So no doubt anybody is interested in writing that uh, special reagents and all that you write down. That any otherwise the conversion, what do you require? You write that alkyne. Alkyne into aldehyde. Alkyne into aldehyde. One step. You write that one step. It is one step. Then then you go for what that write down walkers process. Then 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 after that uh, walkers process you turn the pages of name reaction, it will be available. Okay, so these are the different preparations for uh, aldehydes and ketones. Okay, now preparations of aldehydes. Okay, here there are these uh, first one, mostly all of them are name reactions. So just to look at the textbook, the first one is the Rosenman reduction. Okay, so Rosenman reduction, so always remember that it is all you have to buy or no mechanism at this last one. Otherwise, all the reactions are having their own mechanism. Okay, so this is uh, Rosenman reduction means. What you should know, write the name reaction, name, name in the heading, and after that you write what is converted into what that is acid chloride. Acid chloride also derivative of carboxylic acid into aldehyde. Okay, aldehyde. And that means what is this? This is acid into aldehyde. Means what it is a reduction. That is why Rosenman reduction. Okay, so here what is this? Palladium. Okay, palladized charcoal will say that. Okay, so palladized charcoal, but palladium and barium sulfate and little quinolic will be that. Okay, that you write down in that have inside also not mentioned. Little quinoline will be there. Okay, so plus H2. You know hydrogen is hydrogenation like reduction. Hydrogenation, platinum, palladium, nickel will be used. But this scientist he was using palladium 
okay supported uh, on that is the barium sulfate little bit quinone okay so this is in surface chemistry i mentioned how many of you remember i don't know this one it is actually acting as a poison why it is acting as a poison otherwise what happened this control reduction will not take place if you do not use this if you do not use this only hydrogen and palladium we use not using this combination directly you will get what that is benzene thing with ch2o right alcohol you will get direct because the last step is alcohol carboxylic acid it is acid derivative acid chloride ester and nitrile there are amide they are all acid acid derivative equivalent to acid as far as the oxidation state of the carbon is concerned okay so here directly they will become this uh, alcohol so here you write down the barium this is the other point also you write the controlled oxidation con sorry controlled reduction so these are the information you have to write okay any anyway, first time i am telling you after the next time you have to write the key point rosen reduction acid chloride into aldehyde then the reagent then what is the speciality it is a controlled reduction otherwise the so here there is a reasoning question there is a reasoning question what is the reasoning question what is the role of uh, barium sulfate and in the presence of traces of phenolin so you have to write this acts as a poison controlling the activity of or reducing the not controlling means increasing decreasing the percentage so you write it is reducing the activity of catalyst otherwise the product could have been alcohol so to control the uh, reduction up to aldehyde stage we are using so it is a special reagent all the name reactions are important for their name reaction first as well as in conversion any of the conversions you will find out that you will see that okay right now next is next another one is next one is from again this is all name reaction another speciality is what is that this is stefan's reaction and here what is that you remember that nitrile nitrile c double bond n so this nitrile is converted into aldehyde okay so this is functional group c one nitrile is a functional group one functional group is converted into another functional group. Okay, so here the reagent is stannous chloride. You know, stannous means SN two plus. Stannic is SN four plus. So here stannous chloride is used, and so here are C triple bond N plus HCl. This is how yes, yes, SN stannous two plus you write or yes, SN CN two. Okay, now what happened here? Then there are two steps. Then after that you have to do. One more step because the, the metal is involved. Also. So here hydrolysis will come. So R C double bond N. Here one hydrogen. Here one hydrogen. This is this is called as intermediate. We call it as a imine. Okay. So now when this imine is hydrolyzed, H3O plus symbol, or you can use H plus H2O. Then anything you can write. Not a thing. Plan uh, that. So here you will get R. C H then double bond. This is complete group will come O H two come inside. So C H two O. Now what do you see? This is for name reaction. Even you can use this. You are permitted to use this R C N and R C H two O. You can uh, you are permitted when name reaction is asked. But another benefit of this is what anywhere in any of the conversion you are in a position as I have to convert nitrile. Cyanide that N E S C N group into all the guy. Then why to worry? Of course, it may be possible in case of aromatic hydrocarbon. It may be possible by carrying out variety of steps. Okay, but in case of aliphatic ethanol, this will be very much helpful. So you have to immediately go for water. This is you have to remember this one. Yes, in one step, in one step reaction of the hydrolysis. Right, that way you can write like this. If in formation, no need to show. You only write one H C L. Plus S N C L two and step number two H H three O plus that's all finished. No need to show that you mean. Okay, so this is another preparation. Okay, next year, next year. Okay, one more uh, yeah, one more point. You just note down. I don't want to write down that. There is a reagent, alternative reagent. Just write down. Uh, Ice uh, means uh, diisobutyl uh, 
aluminium hydride. Okay, so dye bond is written, that is the abbreviation also accepted one uh, like that. Dye ball H. Okay, so remember that iso glutide is the symbol at two times aluminium valency three, so one hydrogen. This is AL AL H3. Instead of two hydrogen, this is two isobutyl. So that is why di isobutyl aluminium hydride. Isobutyl aluminium. Al is aluminium. Okay, hydride is the dash H. Okay, so this is very important. This it is also doing the same role only. That is here that the reagent list. It is a very important reagent list. The reagent list is add up. So here what happened is you write that is Cn is converted into at CHO, that's all. That's a dipal. Dipal will be. But here, note you write down. One more note, very important note is without, because generally when you carry out oxidation reduction and all, any, any normal reagent when you use, now that double bond and triple bond will be damaged. Because double bond triple bond is a symbol of a weak bond, okay? Pi bond is a weak bond. So it will be definitely damaged. But here, there are only some. Reagents, some reagents in the previous alcohol chapter also I referred to one reagent without affecting double bond. Okay, so here no doubt without affecting double bond. Without affecting double bond, that is right. Without affecting double bond. So this is what is the meaning of that? The C C double bond C C C here what C and with that. Okay, so now when we use uh, dipole, when we use dipole, the same for C double bond C C and C CHO, the double bond will not be affected. It will be remaining. So that is the speciality. Not only that uh, playing the role of uh, this is already arrived, so you have Stephen C action in the right, but uh, without affecting the double bond, if you want to carry out this uh, conversion of cyanide into aldehyde, we have to. I remember this step. Okay, so it is again very special. So like that, if you take the collect means uh, collection of reagents and their role, and other side of name reaction, you are bound to uh, by heart completely. So once name reaction is there in your hand, and this type of important reagents and their role, you know means what any conversion you will be able to do, and uh, it will be the best way to score high in organic. Uh, chemistry side. Otherwise, though, uh, they will not ask you how will you prepare <coughs> this alcohol, ethanol, give one method of preparation of aldehyde, give one method, and then you will see 10, 15, 20 years question, never you will find such question. Only conversion. Name reaction, conversion, that's all. They may ask in the form of compound A reacting with the reagent C or we are giving the product D, D is again converted back into this one by so and so. Like that, they may ask two more questions. Once you that all, everything you can approach once you have prepared in this manner. Remember that. And after that, mechanism on, on one question. And distinguish between one question. Name reaction one question. And then impact nomenclature one question. And then reasoning questions. Give reason. There are a lot of, lot, many number of uh, this one, give reason questions are there from this chapter. Every chapter, especially in Alderal, Aldiga in this group. And even, of course, in Allergen, also it is there. Okay, and arrange the following in green. How you can approach SN1 reaction, SN2 reaction reactivity. Simple, yeah. But, uh, compared to the other uh, inorganic and physical side, if we put little effort and systematic way of study, you know, organic chemistry can score very high. Okay, let's continue. Now, next is from hydrocarbons. Again, hydrocarbons. And here, the directly you write the name. If you, anybody is following that uh, uh, name reaction collection, a torts reaction, okay, a torts reaction. Here, the torts reaction is. Here also, here also, I didn't show the intermediate. Uh, that intermediate will be, that is, then uh, we put it just to see that intermediate. Uh, is, it is only that it is further, further oxidation is prevented. Okay, otherwise it will go for benzoic acid. Okay, because chromic, chlor, chromic, uh, chromic chloride or this chromic oxide we use, they may go uh, try to go up to that uh, benzoic acid. So once these intermediates are formed, that is why we are using these special reagents. 
you could have, you could have, you could have used another one oxidizing K. This work will be done by K. I think in the next chapter, the preparation of carboxy gas. So if we use alkaline K104, can anyone tell me the product? What is the product? Benzoic acid. Here, benzoic acid. Let it be CH3. Or let it be a carbon, 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 any length here, carbon prime. Everything will be broken. You will get only this one will be converted into CO2. Remember that. That is the role played by alkaline KMO4 strong oxidizing agent. So why we have to use chromyl chloride or why we have to use chromic acid, uh, chromic anhydride in the presence of uh, acidic anhydride? Uh, because this intermediate formation will take place first and that intermediate formation, whenever that uh, the agents are met first time, intermediate formation will take place. These intermediate cannot be further oxidized. So the reaction will be completed. And that's the after complete because second step means what? After completing, not uh, together. Together, if you are adding, it will be giving a single step. So first step you completely react so that it will form the diacetate derivative or the dichromyl chloride derivative. That that will not uh, it will be not able, it will not undergo oxidation further. Then after that, now you carry out another step. What is that? Uh, acidified water you take, hydrolyze, you will get. This is how the further oxidation can be prevented so that aldehyde will be obtained in a very large quantity. The yield will be maximum. Okay, another one is uh, direct uh, calculation. This is also, you know, that again, that the space is not there. Otherwise, again, I am going to start from toluene. So, toluene directly 3, this is the third reaction. Well, first reaction is etot reaction. The second reaction is what is that? Chromic uh, oxide or chromic anhydride in the presence of acidic anhydride. The third one is this one direct uh, calibration. So, you all of you know that what happened H new Cl2. So, you will get this. And also, you get that CH Cl2. And now that is hydrolyze H2O. Hydrolyze means what happened? CH OH twice. And I already told you this is uh, alkylidin. Alkylidin means what is the same color? It is for chlorine, whatever it is. Alkylidin word is for chlorine, alcohol, or any other group. Alkylidin means what? Let's say X. Group X is attached with the same carbon. X may be halogen, X may be alcohol. So here it is alcohol. That's why I told you it is alkylidin, alkylidin, or alkylidin. Uh, the all okay so this is highly unstable all of you must know that this is highly unstable immediately what happened it will lose one water molecule so this carbon is losing one bond oxygen is losing one bond so what they will do carbon is losing one bond oxygen is losing one. so they will form the right. okay so if this is one of them is hydrogen here actually one of them is hydrogen so what happened here this is benzene ring so what is that? There? You are getting immense value. Okay, so remember that. So this is one direct uh, this one. And after that, one more is uh, Gatterman Koch reaction. Gatterman Koch reaction is this is when so far we were studying toluene into uh, benzaldehyde. So now here benzene into benzaldehyde. That is Gatterman Koch. Reaction CHO. So now, if so see that I am telling you one thing, if this reaction is asked in the uh, conversion question, uh, no need to worry about that. If though anybody has not uh, forgotten to revise or study this Gatterman coach reaction, no problem. If the question is, write the equation for the following Rosenman reduction, Canizero reduction, and this one uh, Gatterman coach reaction, that time you are you cannot uh, do anything. But if it is coming in the conversion, how will you convert benzene into benzaldehyde? And don't worry about that. You will be taught about already taught last year. Now you should know all of you know Friedel craft calculation. Go for that. You will get toli. And toli toli in though you have at uh, three pathway you can get this. Only is coach uh, that only that etors reaction, etors reaction, bromyl chloride, CrO2, Cl2 plus hydrolysis and another one is what is the CrO3 acidic anhydride CO twice plus hydrolysis plus means the second step of the time. So there are three ways you can find out this. Okay, otherwise what you will do you can you can go further what is that converted into what is that C N. 
see and do. That is the end. If you know that other method, or what you do is uh, here, even if these methods are not known to you, these methods, suppose you did not remember, immediately what you do, a yes, sad told once that as a alkaline came, no for is used to be sad told that what is that, and that CH3 group will be complete. It is simple to remember, yes. And after that, what is that in the halogen chapter? So you should know that this is halogenation, SOCl2. Or you use PCL5, or you use to PCL3, or you use to that red phosphorus plus Br2, red phosphorus, whatever that halogen you use. These are the variety of halogenating agents. So you will get what? Benzene ring with COCl. And now what is this? That is Rosen, because you have studied Rosen one reduction that is not there. So, to see that how many roots I have got. But the only thing is, why you have to by heart this, uh, all the name reaction, if suppose the question, not suppose, most 90% chance is there, one three mark question, only 10%, less than 10% chance that question may not be asked, but it will be uh, included in the conversion. That is, three mark question, compulsory uh, name reaction. So, 20 name reaction by hearting, getting three mark, see, all of you can do. So, you should buy it. In case, if you forget also, see, how many roots are available? These roots, how do you will also develop. Okay, when you come to know about the variety of agents and this type of conversions, you will be able to do. Okay. Uh, good, mic is on. Any, any, anything you have? Anything you want to say? Okay. Now, last, uh, this preparation is again important preparation from acyl chloride. From Acyl chloride and I am writing acyl halide. Okay, so acyl halide means what is that? Yes, CH3, C double bond O C L. This only this is acyl group. This is acyl group, acetyl group, or acyl group. It is acyl group. It may be any alkyl group may be present depending upon the requirement you choose. Here, what you will use is dialkyl R2 cadmium. See, cadmium chloride, how will you write? And similarly, cadmium alkyl R2, instead of that I am writing R2. Okay, and how this will be preparing this? This will be prepared with cadmium chloride. I am writing the cadmium chloride and you treat it with Grignard reagent or MgCl or MgPr and you will get this. But it is not required. This is not required. This is how it is prepared, they have given. But our main reaction is this one. Any acyl chloride, that is COCl is there, nah? in that R2Cl, nah? that this cadmium, then this will pull out this chlorine. See, here two modes. So, this will be pulled by cadmium. And one more, one more, two times, nah? so two aromatic and ten. And instead of that, it will supply that R. So, what you will get, you are having already CH3, C double body. Okay.